We are really hoping that South Africa, starting from the beginning, will be one of those countries that can lead the way in human rights and evidence-based cannabis laws because it all comes down to the evidence. Nowhere in the world has a court actually heard the evidence of the good of the plant and the, and the dangers of prohibition. So we are fighting tooth and nail and we'll never give up. And my name is Myrtle Clark and this is Julian Stubbs. We are the Dhaka couple and we are fighting for fields of green for all the citizens of the world. Yeah. sticking it to the man. I cannot believe we're actually right next to the bus. It's a legend. This is Hempfest and this is the real life cannabis culture. So we're really excited to go and explore this place for the next three days. and a gun. So we want the South African police in all their corrupt glory to quite literally fuck off out of our lives. We have had enough of you. I hate the police. I hate them. They instill fear. They intimidate people. They profile people. They lock us up in cages and we have had enough. So Stop the Cops is a huge part of what we do. Two, three, four, eight, 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 eight. Just so proud and so happy to be able to be here. Uh, you know, working at the international level, there's not a heck of a lot of us out there. Uh, you could go home and tell your friends you've met a uh, cannabis ambassador, and in the crowd right there with his hand up is another. That's rare as hen's teeth. We have several cannabis ambassadors. Our, our friends, Myrtle and Jules from South Africa. Everybody. <laughs> and, and they did. They joined us in Vienna, Austria. That's where a lot of these discussions are held on drug policy. And uh, they're putting their two cents in. Every country has a role in this. There's like 186 countries that are all part of this treaty. And every single country has a role in changing these policies. And these policies come down from you know back when policies were made by a group of men wearing black suits, drinking brandies, smoking cigars and saying how you know indigenous people were uh, had no culture <laughs>
Can you believe I'm actually standing on the top of the original bus that took the original trip and told everybody to tune in and unfortunately for them drop out? Um, it's quite an iconic thing. There's uh, fundraising going on. We paid a bit of a deposit to get up here just to help out with the restoration of the bus. It's incredible what you see and how trippy this thing is. This was the, the this was literally the road trip that exploded LSD throughout the north of North America. Ken Kesey and Timothy Leary and all those very very original trippy dudes. Well, they travelled and they scared parents shitless with this bus. So it's very very cool to be on the top of it. And it was one of the first things we actually saw when we got to Hempfest and ever since then it's just done nothing but blow our minds.